Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. <sighs> this is the first video I have filmed in like two weeks. It's wild. So I'm gonna give you like a little life update. I know this isn't going up until Thursday. Um, but yeah, uh, I was off last week, I had COVID. I'm still recovering <laughs> and these are my new glasses you guys are wanting to see them I posted them on IG but I love them so if you're new here hi my name's Anna I upload videos five days a week Monday through Friday at <sighs> you guys I'm so out of breath like the big thing with COVID is that I've had really bad shortness of breath and so if I do sound out of breath in this video that's why please um, be patient with me I think this healing is gonna take a process. Um, this is not gonna be something that I can just heal from overnight. <laughs> but yeah, um, I upload videos five days a week, Monday through Friday at 8 a.m. Eastern, and let's go ahead and get started. So I have really bad vision, <laughs> like I'm very nearsighted, and um, so I cannot, like the whole, everything around me is blurry, but I was too lazy to put in contacts. So we are gonna do a get ready with me <laughs> We're gonna kind of do a little update. Um, I haven't really done much. I've, I thought I was gonna be posting more on Instagram over this past week and like stories and stuff, but you guys, COVID is no joke. Um, for those of you um, who don't know, who don't follow my IG, um, my husband and I tested positive for the vid. It was, um, kind of traumatic no, i'm kidding <laughs> um we are both fully vaccinated um but you know this new variant this new variant is no joke um i did do a lot of research and stuff and i do know that this virus is more transmissible and you know while we were still wearing our masks out in public my husband's a teacher you know it's a rough time to be a teacher so um if you have kids that are you know are in school you know, teacher, thank them because uh, teaching sucks right now. I'm not gonna lie. Um, you're teaching in the middle of a pandemic, and uh, yeah, it sucks. So um, we think that's where we got it from. Also, I did go to the doctor last week, um, like walk in care. So that's also maybe where we would have gotten it from, but we're not entirely sure unfortunately so we are fine um logan had a really mild case which i'm so thankful for um i'm gonna go in with the elf power grip primer i talked about this a couple weeks back in like a testing new makeup video which i will link down below because um thursday night we both kind of that like last week thursday or like two weeks ago when you're seeing this um we got home and Logan wanted to go right to bed, and I was like, wow, that's kind of, that's weird how, you know, how tired he is. And then, you know, I kind of made myself dinner, and I was like, shoot, like, really tired. Like, I feel really, something doesn't feel right. Like, it doesn't, you know, I love a good nap. Like, I'm not being the first person to tell you, I could sleep 12 hours a night and still be tired, but something didn't feel right. But I woke up, and I was just like, okay, you know, I hadn't been getting a lot of sleep over the past week and I was like you know what it's probably something related to um, sleep deprivation because I really had not been sleeping and I got to work and I just realized I had no energy and it was very odd to me because whenever I go to my job like I love my job so much so whenever I go to my job I'm usually like oh yeah here we go <laughs> that's why I originally thought it was kind of weird that I was like wow why am I just so like bled today it's not me, you know, I'm, my personality, like, I don't know, I feel like I'm kind of more bubbly, like, um, I try to be very upbeat as much as I can, you know, of course, um, everybody has their bad days, but, you know, I always get really happy to go into work because I really like my job, but I was like, man, something is not right, so around, like, 10.30, I was like, I had only been there since 8, and I was like, you know what, I'm gonna go home, I, some, I've, I'm really worried I'm sick and you know our office is very COVID cautious um, my whole organization I work for is very COVID cautious so I'm like oh, okay I should probably go home if I don't feel good because I don't want to like spread I thought I just had like a cold or something and I thought I, I don't want to spread a cold to the office lo and behold uh, you know Logan came home from work and was like you know I'm not I'm not feeling that great either you know something's off and 
um, lo and behold, we have COVID. So, um, <laughs> we, you know, he took a couple days off of work. He was feeling great. Um, me, on the other hand, I wonder, you know, I never went to the doctor because it's one of those things like, what are they going to do for you? You know, there's some things where you're like, I need to go to the doctor for. There are some things where it's like, they're going to tell you to rest and drink water. And <laughs> this was one of those things that I knew they were going to tell me. So I didn't go, we didn't go to the doctor. And, um, we, you know, I felt really tired. I mean, so did Logan, but for me, I had really bad like flu-like symptoms, but then I also had like the typical COVID stuff. So I did not lose taste or smell. Thank God. <laughs> that was like my biggest fear with originally, like with the initial COVID virus. I was like, but I was having fever, chills, um, body aches. Like I almost wonder if I had like the flu and the, and the Rona at the same time. Um, but I started getting better, but I had no energy. Like I was so tired all of the time. And then on top of that, um, I could feel like my heart was beating harder than normal. And you know, I'm not someone who has like any heart conditions or anything. So it was really weird for me. Like I do the simplest things and my heart would just be pounding. And I also got really out of breath as you can probably hear. Um, so I'm sorry about that, but yeah, I'm still kind of suffering from like being tired and like, like I got to take a nap every day. It's just crazy to think of, you know, like I am very cautious of it. Um, I don't have the greatest immune system. <laughs> like I just don't naturally. I was always the child getting sick when I was younger. Always. I, I always got sick. Uh, there we go. Um, I use the pure four in one love your selfie and then I use the Anastasia magic touch concealer. Awesome products here. We're going to go in with the Fenty butter powder, but yeah, I was like, you know, I kind of feel okay. Cause I had brought my stuff from home from work. Cause I was going to work from home. And I was like, you know, I'm going to work from home. I'll see you guys on Monday. I really felt like I needed to go lay down. <laughs> and so I passed out for four hours. I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna roll with it. I'm gonna live with it. And I rested. I probably worked from home too much this past week. You know, I'm one of those people where like, I'm not very good at taking time off for me. Like I wanna prioritize work. I'm kind of a workaholic. Yeah, I probably should have taken more time off, but I didn't want to. <laughs> um, but I'm gonna take this weekend when I'm filming. Um, I'm gonna film all my videos on the weekends. I'm gonna take this weekend just to relax just like spend a lot of time in bed and that's what i've been doing a lot this past week that's my um thing you know i mean they were saying you know this virus is very transmissible this variant is and i'm like in my head i'm like i remember when that came out they're like this is a very transmissible virus compared to delta or the original sars virus and i was like i'm not gonna get it and i'm like two weeks later i get it how ironic, <laughs> but um, we're gonna do the e.l.f. Primer Infused Bronzer. This is in the shade Forever Sun Kissed. But yeah, I literally was like so dead um, that I didn't wanna do anything last weekend. I didn't do anything. I mean, I still kind of have a, my cough. I had a okay cough, but I still, let me know. Um, have you ever had COVID? <laughs> Let me know. I'm very curious because I wonder how long this like shortness of breath kind of thing is gonna um, come like stay. Like I hope not too long, but shoot. I was like talking in a meeting earlier this week. My boss was like, man, you sound out of breath. And I'm like, I am <laughs> like, I'm dying inside No, But um, yeah, that is, that is my life right now. I get to go back to work on Monday at like in person, which I'm really excited for because you know what? I like working from home, but I always feel more productive when I'm in the office. Like I like having that um, divide between work and home. So we are just putting on some blush. Super pretty today. This is the ColourPop Juice Bar blush. Really nice pinky, um, kind of cool rosy tone. Perfect for Valentine's Day, which 
I'm so excited for. I just love Valentine's Day because that means January is over and that means we're one step closer to spring. I literally <laughs> hate winter so much. January is my least favorite month. It's just like such a depressing month. I don't like it. So we're going to go with this Tarte Amazonian Clay Shimmering Light Highlight in the shade Champagne Glow. I am very close to ordering the Rose Gold Glow. Um, I was almost going to place an order yesterday, but I decided to hold off. I just want to go look at it in store once more. I did yesterday um, order the ColourPop Valentine's Day collection. I'm so excited. This has been something that I have been really um, looking forward to. I'm gonna just do my brows really quick here. I feel so weird because I cannot see a thing. Um, but we are gonna go in with the e.l.f. brow lift and then the e.l.f. instant lift brow pencils. I'm gonna do that and I'll be right back. Okay, next I wanted to do something kind of pinky again more Valentine's Day related so we're gonna go into the Huda Beauty Rose Quartz palette I love this palette so much I have a review on it and I linked it down below for you let's go with the shade radiate it's a nice like pinky taupe shade but yeah I have kind of I've done some planning for videos um, my goal is to do I know it sounds crazy but I would like to do one review a week I don't know if that's going to be possible, but <laughs> um, that's kind of what I'm aiming for. So you saw this week, I mean, you already saw yesterday's video, but um, I have not even filmed that yet. <laughs> I reviewed the Jaclyn Hill skin tint and concealer, but yeah, some things I would like to review. I want to review that cloud foundation from... We obviously have the Valentine's Day collection from ColourPop, super excited about. I wanted to buy the whole thing, <laughs> but that's just not reasonable. I do not need six blushes, like I don't need that. So I only ordered two of the heart blushes. I ordered the palette, and I ordered a couple of lip creams. So I think that was a pretty good um, array of product. I literally have to hold my brushes up like this because I am so nearsighted that I, I can't see a darn thing. Let's take the shade Gratitude, which is this one right here. And I'm just going to take a little bit on a Morphe M433. So yeah, I wanna do that foundation wear test. Um, I have like just some things like sitting in my Ulta cart that I wanna try out that have just been like on my eye, like, First off, I want to order more of those NYX lip glosses. Actually, let's take a break and do lips because I just want to showcase these two items again. They're so good. <laughs> um, the Milani lipstick. I need to find out what this is called. But it's the Milani lipstick. Beautiful packaging. Um, this is in the shade Peony. Literally the best lipstick. It just it feels so light on the lips. Like It just glides on. How? This is so perfect. And this was only like nine bucks. How awesome is that? I love it. So over the top, I want to put on this gloss. It's like a little bit of like red, just for Valentine's Day, for fun. Um, this is the NYX This Is Juice Gloss Electrolyte Infused Color. And this is in the shade Pomegranate Clout. I want to get more of like the pinky shades. <laughs> There's like a green and a blue. And like I'm tempted, but like, do I really need like blue tinted lips? Like I'm already like cool undertone like I don't really think I need that but maybe I do this smells like candy oh my gosh I love this yeah so actually let me tell you what is in my Ulta cart right now <laughs> um first off that rose gold highlighter so I want to get the strawberry one the guava lip gloss and the watermelon one from the NYX line right here I also want to get the elf camo powder foundation the new morphe concealer like <sighs> Lots of face products coming out recently, and I'm kind of curious, so I want to try some of those out. I don't know why, but the smell of that lip gloss reminds me of some sort of candy from my childhood. But I don't know where it's coming from, like what it is. The early 2000s, man, they had some good candy. But anyways, um, let's go into the lower lash line here. Oh, you guys, I feel like I'm doing a workout right now. 
You have no idea. Um, let's go into the shade Radiate once more. And I just kind of want to build that up on the lower lash line. Look at that. That's so pretty. I kind of want to do just a tiny bit darker on the outer corner. So I'm going to go with the shade Aura, which is this dark chocolatey brown right here. And I'm just taking a Morphe M330. And I'm just going to kind of pat. I just realized, guys, I never filled in my brows. I just put brow lift in. <laughs> oh my gosh. What is life for me right now? I just can't even. I just realized I was like, man, my eyebrows look very natural today. Like, what is up with that? I didn't even put any darn pencil in there. This is what my life is right now, you guys. 2022, thank you for starting off with a bang. I really appreciate it. I still think this year is going to be my year. I don't know, like I just have a really good feeling about it, you know? You know when you have that feeling that something really good is coming your way? Um, I'm feeling that right now. I don't know what it is, but I do have a very good feeling about this year in general. Okay, let's get something on the lid here and then we're going to move on to liner and lashes. So I really want to take the shade Moon Magic right here. It's kind of like a purpley blue. And I'm just going to pat. It kind of reminds me of all the Euphoria makeup that I've been seeing on TikTok recently. Like, is Euphoria a good show? Like, I know it's kind of a more, like, deep show in a way. Like, it's got some pretty mature topics. Like, I'm all about that. I don't care. But is it good? Because I have HBO Max, but I'm just curious. Okay, so we're going to go into liner and lashes here. Um, I'm going to use the NYX. What is this called? <laughs> I have to hold it up to like here to be able to see it. It is the Epic Ink Liner. And then I'm going to um, layer two mascaras. I'm going to layer the e.l.f. Big Mood Mascara, which is really good, and then the Tarte Big Ego Mascara. So I'm going to do that, and then we will be back with my look in my glasses, vibin'. Wow, what a concept. Okay, so we're gonna take my hair down. I'm just pinning my bangs back here a little bit. Um, yeah, that is the finished look. I'm feeling very studious. <laughs> I feel like I look like I went to like law school or something whenever I wear these glasses. Like, what do you guys think? I like them. They're by the brand Rag and Bone. Finally got vision insurance through my job, so I was like, fancy glasses here I come <laughs> so yeah that is it for today's video I hope you enjoyed um if you have not already please be sure to like and subscribe I am here five days a week hopefully in future videos I will not be as out of breath so yeah that is it thank you so much for watching I hope you enjoyed and I will see you in my next one bye